Welcome to another great episode of Show Jumping Unplugged TV. Right here, right now, it's week four. It's World Cup action right here at the Hits Desert Circuit. You're watching Joey Gatlin. She's out on course on Cameron Hill Shanro. What is it going to be? 16 started, and Joey Gatlin, our girl from San Juan Capistrano, delivering the goods tonight as she was the only one clean out of 16 horse and rider combinations vying for those very, very valuable World Cup points. As you can see, Joey and Cameron Hill Shanro really, really just doing what they do best, and that's putting in a clean round when nobody else could go clean. So tonight, it would be ladies' night, and Joey Gatlin and Cameron Hill Shanro, as they continue their winning ways here on the desert circuit at the $50,000 Tourneau World Cup qualifier presented by Adequan, right here, right now, on Show Jumping Unplugged TV. Joey Gatlin and Cameron Hill Shanro really uh, just working the big lumber tonight, nice and easy, making sure everything was staying up. Let me tell you, we could hear a couple of good rubs out here on course, but Joey and Cameron Hill Shanro, they were undaunted by the winds that were howling outside and this incredible World Cup course that Dave Ballard had designed tonight. What a night for these two. The last jump, that's it. That's all the money. Joey Gatlin, Cameron Hill Shanro coming in. First place tonight, and the only ones clear. What a great night for sport. I think we've got uh, Tamara and Joey at the back gate. Let's go out to Tamara and Joey and check in with the winner. Hi, it's Tamara back with Show Jumping Unplugged here with tonight's winner of the $50,000 Tourneau and Adequan World Cup Qualifying Grand Prix, Joey Gatlin. Hey. <laughs> wow. There you go. What a build up. Listen, we visited with Joey a little bit earlier, the only one to go clean tonight, but tell us a little bit about that. Go back and tell me a little bit about earlier when you're warming your horse up and it's dark out there, it's windy out there. Tell me that whole story. Well, the warm-up, thank God, wasn't dusty. It was nicely lit and we could have a nice warm-up. The wind was gusty and so there was some debris blowing through the ring, but the horses all handled that well. The walk from the um, warm-up to the ring was a little challenging. It's a little okay. dark and really windy and a little sandy. Yeah. So once you get up to the indoor, you need to take a few moments to let your eyes clear, let your eyes adjust and give your horse a chance to adjust. So that's what I did and uh, went in there and tried to attack yeah. that challenging <laughs> course. A more for the rest of the circuit, huh? Yes, you will. He'll um, we'll maybe go Sunday, we'll see, and then he'll have a week off, and then we'll be back for 6 and 7. Fantastic. Again, Joey Gatlin, congratulations for winning tonight's $50,000 World Cup Qualifying Grand Prix. Ladies, we're thrilled that Tornos is sponsored. Third out of four. Thank you so much for having us here. We're thrilled to be here. We drove a long way to get here, but it was well worth it. <laughs> And you guys are from the San Diego store from Torno, right? Yes, we are. Yes. Torno is a great sponsor, and they uh, are a great. I think it's perfect marketing to associate your terrific watch store with this audience that we have. Thank you, Torno. Thank you, Adequan, for a great class tonight. Hi, I'm Richard Spooner. So today, I'd like to work with Jerry on some gymnastics, and maybe you'll find something interesting. We've worked on, on bending these horses very hard. As they get older, they have to bend. And so this is a simple exercise that can really teach your horse to bend. And you can do this with hunters, equitation horses, and jumpers. This is very small, so you can see it at the simplest form, but you can get it as big as three foot six. The object of this exercise is to get the horse to bend around your inside leg, just a little off center in the beginning. See the horse has to maintain the same bend as he jumps. So you want the horse's body to bend, bend, bend as he goes through the exercise. And you don't want to be too hard with your hands because you don't want to restrict his motion. He has to learn to bend and be careful where he puts his feet at the same time. I'm going to stop on both sides of the horse evenly. So the same thing, a little deep here, so he's got to work hard, hard, hard. And the deeper I am, the more leg I'm going to use. And I'll try to be a little longer. Right leg, right leg, right leg. Just passing him very nice with my inside rein to bend around my right leg. One more time. Up. This is a very simple gymnastic exercise. We can teach your horse to bend through his rib cage and make all of jumping easier. Well, thank you for joining us today. My name is Richard Spooner. 
This was Jerry the Gray, and my favorite town to ride in has always been Antarctica. All right, we're back outside. We're on course with Mandy Porter and Summer. As they are the fastest of the three in the jump off today, we started 34 here in Thermal at the Hits Desert Horse Park. It was Richard Spooner, Black Cherry, Shakira, Jennifer Crooks, and it was all left to Mandy Porter as uh, she is going to put in that beautiful, beautiful double clean. Why? Because it feels a lot like summertime. Yes, it does, and it's Mandy Porter and Summer as they do what they do best, and that's collecting those big checks here at the Hits Desert Horse Park in Thermal, California. For more of what you've been waiting for, tune in and log on to Show Jumping Unplugged TV. All right, it's the last jump, Summer and Mandy. That's how you collect 50 grand right here in Thermo, California. What a day for these two. What an incredible circuit that they're having. Let's go, Let's go to Tamara and Mandy at the back here. Only double clean today in the $50,000 Hits Thermal Grand Prix. Mandy Porter, hi. Hiya. Yeah, hi again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we didn't even think there was going to be a jump off for a long time. I know, it was the tricky. experience really paid off for her today because where the course gets a little tricky, it doesn't it doesn't really worry her or upset her. So she stays the same and goes to the challenge. Um, some of the young ones, I think it was a little hard for them. Yes. Because uh, there were a lot of really, really tough questions that they didn't quite know how to answer. Excellent. Well, it was a day for the ladies and the greys today, huh? That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, thanks so much for joining us on Show Jumping Unplugged. Again, our congratulations to Mandy Porter and Summer for taking all the money in today's $50,000 Grand Prix of the Desert. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't want to tell you, but I knew you were going to win today. <laughs> That's because you weren't in it. <laughs> Whatever. Well, thanks so much again for joining us today here on Show Jumping Unplugged and the $50,000 Stronted Grand Prix. Congratulations. We have Kristen here from Stronted. I'm going to let Tony introduce her. Well, we're thrilled to have uh, everyone from Pfizer. We had a great Pfizer turnout today. Almost 30 people watching this first of several great Grand Prix. Kristen? How great it is to have you part of the HITS family. It is yeah. a wonderful opportunity for Pfizer Animal Health and to uh, launch this initial Strongest Sea Grand Prix. We're so proud to be a part of a national organization like HITS and we look forward to many more opportunities going forward. Oh, fantastic. And we look forward to seeing more of you right out here on the HITS Thermal Desert Circuit. Thanks again for joining us. You keep watching on Show Jumping Unplugged.